It was in the early 80s when you read an article on llamas uh -huh. and you said to me, we ought to get llamas. And I said, right. Well, a few years, one moved to Wyoming and another to Washington later. Is that the way you remember it? Yes. Okay. I don't disagree with you. All right. <laughs> Their Vashon home hosts Kelly, Larry, and a group of very happy llamas. We kind of fell in love. Vashon llamas, that's what they call their home slash llama paradise, welcomes visitors. The most popular way is a farm visit. Farm visits last about an hour. Uh, I go through a fair amount of information on llamas in general, and then our herd in particular. Uh, I tell people what llamas don't like and, and explain to them how to feed them treats. And those llamas love treats. Would you like some treats, llama? A farm visit includes plenty of time with the llamas and a demonstration on how to weave llama wool. Kelly, after all, is an expert. She's got plenty of llamas and plenty of looms. And generally people leave saying, wow, I learned so much about llamas. I love that. <laughs> There's also weaving activities for kids and adults, llama birthday parties, and llama happy hour. I like to, to say, you know, what's more fun than, you know, enjoying llamas on a beautiful sunny afternoon? Enjoying them with a glass in your hand on a beautiful sunny afternoon. You, BYOB, Kelly and Larry, BTL, bring the llamas. Now, uh, during the llama happy hours, do the llamas have a glass of wine as well? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm not sure we'd want to, I'm not sure we'd want to know what a tipsy llama was like. They may not drink wine, but most of them are party animals. They all have different names and they know their names uh, and they have different personalities. All llama herds have a llama who's like the head llama, mm -hmm. who's the boss. And we have one, her name is Dewey. She's very diligent and she's mm -hmm. right now, she's she still she, up there. She's yeah. up there on our hill and she yeah. surveys the horizon to make sure there's no danger. And as for that whole spitting thing? Our llamas do not spit at people. These are no drama llamas. They're wonderful, wonderful animals. Mm -hmm. Kelly and Larry didn't plan to become llama parents slash educators but they wouldn't change it for the world. We sort of don't know what life would be like without llamas because it's, <laughs> it's just what we do. And they are, they are gentle, gentle souls. They are lovely animals to have around.